Hi there. I'm Mahindra. I'm Indonesian. And right now, just exactly like mostly uh, people around the world, that I have to stay home. Me and my family. I've uh, been living in Indonesia for almost 50 years. And according to the situation right now, that um, the virus, the COVID-19, it's just like spreading widely and actually why I say it widely because that none of us for Indonesian that really really uh, take this issue as something that very very harmful for our lives maybe a few of us yes but mostly no for example, that the government of Indonesia has issued some not clear enough, not firm enough, not um, resolute enough of uh, an order for every citizen to stay home. This is the moment that we should take a break and to get off from each other, except our beloved ones, our family, our parent, our spouse, our children, our siblings. And as long as we stay in the same home, so that's the home that we should be in for actually entire periods. But as I mentioned earlier, it's not clear enough, it's not something that make people to be obedience why because according to that many students just off from school right now it's extend for another two weeks uh, it's not uh, followed by further regulation for workers for for employees what should they do so uh, it's company just make some private decision uh, manage their employees by their interests and some have some shifts yes shifts working uh, daily or maybe weekly and I still see also that many companies in Indonesia they 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 still have them their routine, their daily basis uh, activities, and this is bad, why? Right? Because uh, right now, people should get off from each other. Do you wonder? Actually, I do. I wonder why this is something that we have to do. The simple answer is we haven't had any cure for COVID-19. So the best of all is each of us have to be survive. How to stay away from the possible uh, contagion people that somehow you could just catch the virus instantly from some certain situation a condition or person that we never thought that it could impact us that bad when that moment happened i think i would say that we are more than 50 percent done yes a few weeks ago i made some call and asked how to examine myself if I were positive COVID-19 the answer the answer uh, was that I have I must have three conditions first I got fever second that I have a problem with um, breathing throat maybe uh, uh, my, my problem with, in my chest here lung problem 
And the third is that I have I just got back here from abroad, especially from China, or maybe South Korea, or maybe Italy, or Iran, that consider uh, as a epicentrums for this virus, because it's no longer in China, because China is uh, uh, getting better and better. So. Um, if I just got fever, they would send me home. As simple as that. And they would suggest me a couple things to do and to be aware and to be very, very careful with my my uh, body condition, something like that. But if I got this uh, three condition, I, 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 I fulfill uh, this condition. So. I'm gonna check some x-ray to my thorax and so on and so on and the city council decides that it's gonna be free treatment for every COVID-19 positive patient so this is exactly not like dengue vivo or any other this is that easily when they got our blood checked and they found some abnormal uh, composition in our blood so they would just easily finding what is actually going on with our body definitely it's not like that so right now some kickback some good news actually some good news uh, by the government they already imported um, some pass packs it's called um, RDT, Rapid Diagnosis Test. And uh, there are pros and cons about it. People being disappointed, confused, and so what should we do? For example, right now, am I positive COVID-19? If, if I say, if I ask this question to any doctors, any professors in front of me, I'm afraid if the answer is, you have to wait for another like 5, 6 to 14 days for us, for them, to be sure that I'm infected, that I'm positive COVID-19. So according to this condition, I think the only thing as a, not a solution, but to give some break for the virus to be viral is to stay away from other people. But am I talking about lockdown? Maybe yes, maybe not. Somehow right now, the government of Indonesia already ordered a lockdown, but maybe not a firm, not a clear, not a resolute order. Why? Because I still could see people driving their cars somewhere, still doing their routines, their daily basis. I have neighborhood, somehow just a mismanaged neighborhood that mostly, mostly the residents here have their home industries, I would say. They have warehouse, blah, 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 and they still have their activities, just their routines. I still could see that people delivering stuff, yeah, trucks, and so on. Means that this order is not clear, not sharp, not resolute, and the worst is not something to be, to be obeyed. The government, somehow, up until now, what I see, they don't know exactly what to do about Indonesia. In facing the dark days of COVID-19. So maybe uh, what I'm trying to say here, 
first step, I have a problem. Why and how and now? Okay, let's not lock down the con. Let let's not lock down the cities, but let's take a break. How long? One month. Full one month. Everyone off the streets. Everyone off the malls. Off the jobs. Stay home. One month. Who's gonna show this? Police and soldiers. So they have to sit together to prepare things up. So it's just gonna be a pre the execution and post execution. The pre it gives people to get prepared. Maybe like uh, preparing their um, daily needs or from foods, drinks, maybe um, also anything, anything you name it. And then in one month, nobody is just doing the usual activity. They just stay home, stay home watching TVs. So there's gonna be like a smaller group. Uh, they're gonna um, uh, create uh, some temporary uh, teams that has duty to make this campaign successful. Who needs to go outside their house is only for emergency. They're ill, they're sick, they need to see doctor, they need to go to hospital. Only that things. None else. Why one man? Because that this is I think a compromise between the lockdown and the circulation economy and circulation problem. The lockdown versus micro industries in Indonesia. This is the compromise. This is the compromise. I'm sorry. This is the compromise. Um, how about people who earn money for living daily? This is such a good news that the government of Indonesia decided to support the people that every family certain uh, rupiah so they could carry on without doing their jobs they still could buy things maybe to prepare things but to have this one month national isolation successful it needs more than just government it needs every of us each of us to be united to work together hand in hand not literally but hand in hand morally that we have to help each other we have to support each other So we have to be open to everyone who needs our help. We're not gonna have some physical contact with him. We simply just packing things up. You need what? Instant noodles? You need sugar? You need uh, I don't know uh, mineral water? Okay, I have I have some. I'll send it to you. Or you come here. You come over. Let's meet outside. Okay. We use everything. To protect ourselves he or she also wears things that could protect themselves from possibly of being uh, contagious that is how and after that when one month is done the government and the ministry of health could do some decent evaluation what we should do next but more of it during this one month for Ministry of Health 
with all hospitals as they are backups. Doctors, nurses, that would be like having some easier days to manage themselves first and then second to serve the sick patients. Because uh, actually, it's not just COVID-19 patients right now in hospital, as you know. But the COVID-19, the COVID, I'm sorry, the COVID-19 absorbs like 90% of the energy. <coughs> and it's something bad for other patients, but also with a serious illness. I hope this video somehow could reach the government and yes, they have to discuss it first. They have to to sit together in, in some very, very serious meeting. Why? Because uh, it's not about being like um, invaded by other country. No. This is much, much more serious than that. Why? Because nobody could save Indonesia but ourselves. Staying off from each other is going to save ourselves. I'm not sure. But at least that is how to carry on our lives. The positive way to carry on our lives. Because the cure is not yet invented. Let's pray for each other. I pray for you. Good luck. My Indonesian fathers. Thank you for watching. Godspeed.